I was playing with Charlie Parker a long time ago, and I was like listening to jazz music, but I was also trying to learn how to play the sax. I was learning the period and the time. He he had said something about uh, you know that he could only play the alto because that was the sound of his own voice, and so that like helped me like understand way the way he spoke. And then uh, I started to look at the notes and stuff that I was playing because it was improvisational. And I started to apply, like, my thoughts to the notes. The Last King, um, we did, I did, I went there months in advance. I started first by learning Kiswahili. You know, that was a big thing. I wanted to change the way I was thinking so that the way I thought was first in Kiswahili and then in English. So that was a big task that I was trying to do. And uh, then I, like, learned how to play the accordion because that was a party instrument that... He was able to bring people together with, and uh, I uh, started traveling all over this, all over the, all over Uganda, like meeting people and talking to people and and getting things. And then I studied Barbara Schroeder's documentary because it was a documentary that uh, he done on on Idi Amin with Bumpy. Like I said, I like it's different. There's only like maybe like four photographs of Bumpy Johnson, you know, it's hardly any. So you know, you start like trying to take your cues from like. You know, some of the poetry that he wrote, some of the ways to try to figure out how he's thinking. You talk to his, like I say, you talk to his uh, associates that were working with him. You start to study the mob a little bit more so you can know the uh, hierarchy.